Hey guys, so one of my favorite things to do is going on staycation. Now if you guys don't know what staycation is, it's a vacation in your own hometown. So I'm in Los Angeles, California, West Hollywood to be exact, home of some of the greatest luxurious hotels. And I kind of got addicted to it. So I started doing hotel, like staying in hotel rooms for like photo shoots or just like a change of scenery to clear my mind and like be inspired. And that's exactly what it does. So I thought while I'm here for the next couple nights and days, I will show you guys my OOTNs, OOT day, OOTDs. I'm not even drinking yet. Um, so I'm actually doing a photo shoot tomorrow. Um, and then I have an Access Hollywood interview tomorrow. And then I'll be staying right here and then I'll be leaving the following day. So anyways, I just checked in and I just got here. This is my check-in outfit of the night. Also, I am going out to dinner, so it's sort of a date night after the night. And I did post some uh, little sneak peeks on Instagram and everyone was like, oh my gosh, we need to know the details. Now, if you guys know me, a lot of people think I'm very bougie, which I am. I love expensive meals. I love nice cars and like nice purses and shoes and all that stuff like that. But when it comes to outfits and fashion, I'm actually not bougie at all for a couple reasons. One, Bougie designers don't make clothes my size. They never have and they never will. And that's okay. It saves me a lot of money. Two, I'm one of those people who don't like to wear the same thing twice. Having said that, you will see a lot of these repeat outfits. There's some new outfits, but this is one a repeat outfit. This is actually from Fashion Nova. Not sponsored. I actually was supposed to be working with them on sponsored posts. It never went through, so I don't have a code or anything for you. Not a big deal. Um, I got this a while ago, though. This was a dress that Kylie rocked in white, I believe. Um, now, the material looks a lot different online. Having said that, I do love it. It's like this jersey knit material. It's also really, really strong stretchy and really really flattering for a curvier body type um, and it kind of has this really high slit or really low cut so it's very very sexy but also very very comfortable it hides the arms which I don't always love having my arms exposed especially in pictures into the side my arms just look a lot bigger than the rest of my body which maybe they are I don't know <laughs> I blame the camera but you know so this is a fashion of a dress my bra is from Victoria's Secret I get a 36 triple D I wish they made bigger sizes Victoria's Secret what are you gonna make bigger sizes and the F and the G's for us bigger bus girls like we need that um the choker is just 521 as well, um, which is also super cheap. This is just a ring from imitations.com. Imitations has like huge like engagement rings, like fake, fake. So it's everything that like, you can get like replica jewelry for like, you know, 60 bucks as opposed to this would be like $10,000. Um, my earrings are real. I did get these at Macy's. They're just diamond hoop earrings. I did my own makeup in here today. The tinsel in my hair, kind of hard to see, but you guys can see it on Instagram, is by, uh, his name is Vincent. Extensions by Vincent on Instagram. Um, I used a dose of color sand on my lips and the Pat McGrath palette on my eyes. And then this is the bottom half of my outfit. So the pantyhose are from De Blue Dazzled. It's an Etsy shop. I've actually bought from them for years. They're a little pricey, but these are Swarovski. You can get different color patterns in them. You can get nude fishnets, black fishnets, um, black crystals. Kind of customized as you want. They also have really sexy lingerie, but they are known for their bedazzled of the tight. Um, let me know in the comments below if I forget to link it. <laughs> More than likely will, and I will link it for you guys. And then, of course, I have my Giuseppe, sorry about my hair shadow, my Giuseppe Zanotti's, Zanotti's, whatever. Um, these are just some wedges. They're actually really great because they're super comfortable. We can dress up. And they are female. A lot of people are like, they look like guy shoes, but they're actually like so comfortable. So if you're worried about heels, it kind of makes a dressy outfit like more casual, but also, it adds it with the bling. So here's an overview of the outfit in a mirror kind of version so you kind of see the whole ensemble from head to toe. This is very short as you can see and very body fitting. You can obviously get a size larger if you want it to be a little like longer or whatever. The slit is extremely high but like I said the material at, even though it's like a jersey material it's still pretty flattering um, and form fitting to your body. I personally feel a lot more comfortable with tights on. I did wear this out one night without um, like pantyhose but with pantyhose you'll be set and if anything were to show you kind of have your your safety blanket underneath. So there is outfit number one of my staycation. So this is my outfit number two of staycation. Um, it's just a really cute romper. It is by Diane's, which is a store in Manhattan Beach. I love it so much. Do we know the brand of this? A-V-E-A-N-E? Or is it R-E-V reverse, I guess? <laughs> well. <laughs> what we think the brand is. So it's a place called Diane. It's like a store in Manhattan Beach, but a lot of times they carry the brands of clothing that you get online. So I think it might be reversed. It's amazing. My mom and my book got this. Uh, I kept getting called Britney Spears today at the Access Hollywood interview. I was like, heck yes. I was super excited about it. Um, I paired it with my Versace clutch, which I am so obsessed with. They made this in pink as well, and I have it in pink as well. This is the one I've had for literally years. I wear it all the time. The best of us with piece I ever made. It has a nice thick strap, and the swastika crystals have never come off of it. So 
Good job, Versace. Then moving on to the shoes. These are from Forever 21. I love Forever 21 wedges. Now they do tend to break because I had a pair that just recently broke, but I wore the crap out of them. So it has a gold metallic with a cork wedge, which never really go out of style. I feel every spring they kind of come back, so I'm already on it. I just need to exchange my winter pedicure for a spring one. My hair extensions are my Bellamy hair. They are the tapins in, I believe, platinum, I think is the color. And then my glitter extensions are by Vincent, which I love. I think I said that yesterday, but I love it so much. I did my hair and makeup by Adam Lee Simmons today. And then my ring, once again, is the annotation. When you're on staycation, you kind of recycle the same accessories. So, yes, I wore this to my Access Hollywood interview, and now we are going out to each Mastro's. So I hope you enjoyed outfit number dos. <laughs> All right, so here is the mirror version of this outfit. Kind of a head-to-toe look. I can kind of see myself, so I can give you a little more does right up a little this is a large so it fits a little snug the sleeves are kind of this mesh sleeve this is so old school who remembers YouTube when you could do alpha the days in the mirror um, but the sleeves are great the the glitter that's sparkling on there is literally just kind of loose glitter and I do see it kind of come off I've worn this outfit now for about five hours today and it does kind of come off a little bit so obviously it's a hand wash sort of thing and it is a double layered one so this layer of glitter and see-throughness is on top and then we have a, a nude underneath but yeah, I just want to give you a more detailed look on this. You don't really need any accessories because it's pretty dang bright. The foundation he used today was so good. It's this Becca like foundation. It's so amazing. It's like full coverage without it feeling so heavy. Then my nails. Oh, this is called Pool Party. It's a gel color. Um, I love it. A lot of people ask me that. Overview. Okay guys, this is the third and final outfit of my staycation. Um, I'm actually checking out in this outfit. This hoodie, so many people have asked me, it is from Victoria's Secret. And I actually just recently found this because when Jess and Shane were over, um, like Shane was shooting this video and she, Jess was going through my closet and she actually found this and I was like, I love it. Um, so yeah, this was a Victoria's Secret hoodie that I got years ago. Um, a lot of people ask me about jean shorts. These are American Eagle. I like American Eagle because they are stretchy. Like it is a like a button fit, but it's still very stretchy. And then the shoes, this is like the worst OT I already packed up my tripod. The shoes are my Illines by Converse. Converse by Illines. And then I just have my hair up in a bun because I gotta go get my hair done. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini little lookbook. Underneath is a sleep shirt, but you can see my I don't have a bra on underneath. <laughs> so it says Daddy's Girl, and I got this from Dolls Kill, and I actually have matching panties on. But let's just do one quick overview of this outfit in the mirror. All right, so here is an overview of the outfit. I'm going to zip this up because that doesn't really go. But just a super casual. I love sequins and glitter things because you still feel really, like, pretty and not so gross, even if you feel gross. And you get spray tan. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this staycation lookbook. I'm going on vacation very soon, so if you guys like these lookbooks and want to see more of what I wear on a weekly, daily basis, thumbs up this video so I know. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and until next time, here are my kissies. And my little baby fishies. Bye, guys.